What's up, guys? Rebel Songs podcast is still around. I know it's been a while. Uh, this episode was actually recorded like three weeks ago, maybe even more. I can't really remember. Um, and when I went to put it together, I went to edit it uh, and listen to it. I didn't like the fucking um, the sound of my microphone. I don't know if it's still fucked up or not. I was like, shit, I'm going to have to re-record this because I don't like it. I didn't like the quality and I didn't want to put it out. And then I was thinking, fuck, I don't even remember what I said and I really don't want to re-listen to everything. Um, and I just, I, I, I don't feel like it would be genuine, you know, like re-recording what I already said when I don't really have to. So I was sitting on it for a while, and look what happens when you um, don't do shit right away. You fucking get sidetracked. Uh, I've been pretty busy, you know, fucking summertime. Uh, lots of fucking fun shit happening. I've got fucking so much good music to play that I think I'm going to have to do an episode every single fucking day. Uh, maybe fucking next week or so, if I can fucking do that. So email me at info at rebelsongspodcast.com because I have absolutely really nothing to fucking talk about. Give me some shit to fucking talk about uh, and enjoy this fucking episode. I'll be back really soon, I promise. That, my friends, was a sour mash cats with my baby's got the flesh eating bacteria. This is Rebel Songs Podcast, episode 78. I'm your host, Mandy. If you are not listening to this podcast on the iPhone podcast app, Stitcher Radio app, or through iTunes itself, uh, those are the best ways to do so. But don't let me fucking boss you around. Uh, I know some people, due to copyright issues, can't watch the YouTube videos that I put up. So whatever. Do whatever the fuck you want, but uh, just a little advice uh, on my side. And I want to remind you guys to leave reviews on iTunes or Stitcher Radio if you like the show, which I'm sure you do or you wouldn't be listening. Um, I'm going to use those in the future, near future. Uh, I'm going to pick some and then fucking give some shit away to the fucking best reviews that I like. Anyway, so be creative. Um, I have some CDs to give away. Um, I'm working on making some stickers and shit. Uh, So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I'm going to do a set of songs from a label called Vicious Mistress. 
Um, that first song I played there was from them too. They got a couple of great comps uh, and I think a damn broads demo. I can't remember. Um, I got them for super cheap. Check them out on their band camp. I'll have links up and shit at rebelsongspodcast.com. Uh, four tracks. And then I've got some new music. Some really good fucking new music.
Okay, that first track we heard was Recently Deceased with Sweet Dying Love, uh, Virgin Whores with Walk Away, The Aggressics with Boot Boys, and uh, The Loveless with Mean Green. Right now, I've got some new Murderers Row. Fuck, shit is fucking good. You know, I think I've played them in the past too. I fucking am crazy about this band. Uh, the first song is called Alleyway, and it reminds me of when I was a kid. Still too young to drink. Uh, hanging out um, outside at punk rock shows in the alleys, sipping on 40s with my friends, fucking hanging out and having a good fucking time. Ah, uh, the good motherfucking old days. Here's Murderer's Row with Alleyway, and uh, I'll play another one called Give the Pain. <laughs>
God motherfucking damn it. That was a fucking awesome set. Uh, the Murderer's Row songs, Alleyway and Give the Pain. After that, a fucking awesome Texas punk band called Sniper 66 with two tracks, I Know It's True and All Dressed Up. And the last track was a fucking band I've played before, uh, Concrete with Born to Never Lose. That's on their brand new fucking 7-inch. Uh, I think it might be limited, so if it's still around, you might want to pick that up. Like I said before, I've been watching Game of Thrones. I am on season finale of uh, season three. I'm catching up. Fucking, I started watching them without my friend, like I said before. Uh, too distracting, watching it with her. So I've been watching them by myself, and I told her to fuck right off. I'm like, you fucking are too distracting, whatever. So I'm going to save the finale to watch it with her. And if she fucking talks during this shit, I am going to tell her to get the fuck out of my house. Um, I couldn't believe how fucking insane... Uh, even episode 9, because there's 10 episodes in this season, episode 9 was fucking in insane. It was intense. Uh, I'm fucking loving this sh the series. Anyway, I was wondering if any of you fuckfaces have read the books. Uh, if so, let me know if it's even worth it. I mean, I've already been watching the show, so if you read them, let me know. And uh, also, I want to thank everyone for the emails. If I haven't responded yet, I will soon. Info at rebelsongspodcast.com is my email. Also, a contact form on the website. Up next, a few tracks from an awesome label called Graves End. And then, new fucking Razorblade. You know I fucking love Razorblade, and I've played them a few times already in the past. I love this fucking album. It's called My Name is Vengeance. Uh, the song Warrior is totally worth a fucking listen. So go to rebelsongspodcast.com. There's a fucking link to the playlist of everything I've played, I think, except for the last episode because I forgot to do that. Um, and look look for where I played that fucking song. Look which episode I did and go listen because um, I'm way too fucking lazy to go and do that right now.
Those first three tracks were from Gravesend Records. The band was called DSK, The Price of War. That was the first track. And then two songs from a band called Set Aside, uh, End of This Road, and You're Stupid. And then we had two Razorblade songs, My Name is Vengeance and Sniffing Glue. Okay. If any of you motherfuckers are in a band, I know some of you are because you've sent in music before. Um, or your friends in a band, or whatever. You know someone in a fucking band. I don't care if they're your friend or not. Put them in touch with me. I'm trying to get, trying to reach more unsigned bands and shit. Even if they are signed and they're not like a fucking giant, and they're not like fucking anti-flag or anything. Uh, get a hold of me. I'll fucking play them. Uh, also, remember reviews. iTunes and Stitcher. I want to see some new ones this fucking week. And if you do, you should let me know what fucking country you're from, because I can check the Canada and the U.S. one, um, but I have to go through a lot of bullshit to, to see fucking other countries' reviews. So if you're from some fucking weird fucking country, <laughs> weird country, some smaller country, whatever, fucking let me know. Say, fucking, I'm from this country, I fucking wrote a review, you should go check it out. <sighs> anyway. What the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. Also, in the very near future, look for a Rebel Songs podcast page on Facebook. Gah. I kind of hate that Facebook bullshit, but whatever. I think that I think that I'm eventually going to have to use it. Um, I'll throw a link up when I have that fucking done. For now, I'm leaving you with this Bane track. New, final Bane track. Uh, a shout out to Jed, too, for the heads up email. I didn't get a chance to check out the Q&A with Bane, um, but I appreciate how fucking sweet you are. Uh, this song is called Final Backward Glance. This is Rebel Songs Podcast. Have a good fucking night. <laughs> 